Are you guys ready to read the last Billy Goat's Gruff book of the week? Let's get started. So this is it right here. And it is called The Three Billy Goat's Gruff. And it is retold and illustrated by Janet Stevens. And she actually won an award because she did such a great job. Now, the reason that it says retold beca is because this is a fairy tale. Remember, we talked about that. This is a fairy tale. It's a story that's been around for a really, really, really long time. And people retell it, which means they take the story of the three billy goats and they just change it a little bit and they retell it and turn it into a book. And that's why we've been able to read so many different versions of this same story this week, okay? Now, let's see what Janet Stevens did when she retold the three billy goats gruff. Here's a picture. She's got a lot of details on her illustration, doesn't she? I'm thinking this must be the little Billy. Who do you think this is? Maybe middle Billy? This looks like a great big Billy, so we'll have to see what she calls these guys. Okay, let's get started. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Oh, here's the title page. She used a two-page spread, didn't she? Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats and their names was Gruff. They ate the grass in the valley until it was all gone. And they were hungry. Well, so far, this book has started like some of the other ones, didn't it? The three Billy Goats Gruff knew that on the hill beyond the river grew sweet green grass. But under the bridge lived a great ugly troll with eyes as big as saucers and a nose as long as a poker. And the troll was hungry too. What to do? Well, first of all came the youngest billy goat gruff to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, it is only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff, and I am going to the hillside to eat the sweet green grass, said the youngest billy goat in a small, small voice. Now I am going to gobble you up, said the troll. Oh no. Pray don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait a bit till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well, be off with you then, said the troll. <laughs> Look at that big nasty troll. Oh, he's got a toad on his back. Ooh, he's scary looking. A little while after came the second billy goat gruff to cross the bridge. Trip, trap. Went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, it's the second billy goat gruff and I am going to the hillside to eat the sweet green grass, said the billy goat and his voice was not so small. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Oh no, don't take me. I'm much too thin that I am. Wait a little till the big billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well, be off with you, said the greedy troll. Just then, up came the big billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip. Trap, trip, trap, went the bridge, for the billy goat was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. He is a lot bigger. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. It's I, the big billy goat gruff said the billy goat, who had an ugly hoarse voice of his own. Ha 
Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along. I've got two spears, four hard hooves, and ugly ears. I've got besides an angry feeling, and I'll poke you and kick you and scare you and send you reeling right off of this bridge. That was what the big Billy said. And so he flew at the troll and he poked him and he kicked him and he scared him and he sent him reeling right off that bridge and right into the river. Then he went up to the hillside. There, the billy goat scruff ate the sweet green grass as if they're still hungry. They're still there. And so, snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. All right, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna talk about these books that we've read all week. Bye.